hey guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so scorpio this reading will be for you if you have any scorpio placements or if you're dealing with a scorpio it's a bit not so good that's better all right guys please hit the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest all right guys so i want to see what is going on with you guys scorpio <clears throat> what does scorpio need to know right now what does scorpio need to know right now Queen of Pentacles, some of you guys are focused on your money, focused on work, busy, okay. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands and a Death card, there you are. You've got a lot going on, Scorpio. So whether, I feel like it's overall um, in different areas of your life, okay. I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you guys balance out work, relationships, things that you're building towards. Now you are doing a lot, but it's, but you know it's going to help you with some kind of amazing transformation with the ten of wands and the death card so you know that all this heavy all this heavy work some of you guys it is heavy work or something like that but all of this hard work it's going to help you transform your life so tell me more about that please so four of cups and the star do you know what i do you know what i feel like scorpio for some of you guys they could have been um let's just say in the past whether it be way but way back in the day or in the recent past there could have been opportunities that you could have missed for whatever reason maybe you started a family and you were too busy or maybe you was at a job and you were more focused on that when there, there was something that you was passionate that you didn't really um believe it could happen but i'm seeing you guys make up for lost time four cups and a star i feel, feel like you're making up for lost time and really working towards what it is that you are wanting you're making it happen Two of Wands, yep, change in direction, definitely a new path for you. Page of Wands, you're much more enthusiastic about things in general, Scorpio. You're So if you've been feeling down, especially throughout uh, Mercury Retrograde, I see things just improving overall, okay? Money, your emotions, your thoughts, your, whatever's happening around you is improving. Ace of Wands. You've got the passion back, the zest of life. There's something that is like you're waking up feeling like a brand new person, okay? Now, I'm not sure exactly what you guys are doing, but I do see overall things improving. And we have the Page of Cups and Justice. You could get good news about a legal issue or... Things are just weighing out better now. Things are weighing out more better. Things are going in your favour. Okay. Okay. Will that come out? Nine of Cups and the Hermit. Some of you guys have been very happy alone or you're very content um, um, by yourself. But I am seeing you kind of, do you know what this feels like? You're, well, literally what he's doing there in the card, like sitting around. Say, for example, you've just done up your home or you've just... Um, if you've got a business or something and you've been creating things or just doing things, putting a lot of energy into things and you're sitting there thinking, wow, I've done this, I've created this. I'm also seeing you guys being very happy indoors at home, okay? Regardless if you're in a good mood or not. It's just like, okay, yeah, I like this. This is, you know, this is... um. Yeah, I'm getting a very calm energy. Things are, things are looking more clearer for you. Tell me more, please, about Scorpio. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, some of you guys are saving. You're saving You're saving money. We have the World in Reverse. Okay, some of you guys are saving towards something that... Um, it may just be saving for a rainy day or just saving in general. Some of you guys is about a trip that you've held off. But overall, I'm getting that you're catching up with something or you're making something happen now in your life, Scorpio. Tell me more, please. The King of Cups could have a water sign around you or in your... Well, you are a water sign. Ten, nine of Swords. What's the Nine of Swords about? Eight of Cups. Some of you guys could have walked away from... Uh, 
It could be a water sign, air sign. Or someone that you love that used to stress you out, that used to stress you out, you, you, you've left that alone. It doesn't even, it, it's not even irrelevant to you anymore. You don't, you see, don't see the point in it. Yeah, you become cold towards it. You're thinking more logical towards this situation with this person, whether it be um, something romantically or it could be friends or family. Queen of Wands. You're seeing yourself in a whole different light. I've been saying that as well. You're making so many changes, Scorpio, and it's and it's really it was, it's you, I'm getting you just feeling so good about it, but very optimistic. Tell me more. The hanged man got Pisces there. Yeah, you're looking at things differently. The three of wands. <clears throat> Some of you guys have uh, been manifesting things or been waiting for something good to happen, and it's happening. And if, it, if you found that it's not happened yet, guys, um, just you wait. Just you wait. I'm seeing a lot more money. More money, you've you been able to save more. You've been able to do more. So some of you guys have got more free time. So I'm not sure if you're, if you're self-employed or if you've got a better position at work. I feel like you're really in the right direction. You're competing for your place. You're competing. No, I don't even feel like it's with other people. I feel like it's you bringing um, that competitive self out, out. Maybe some of you guys have felt kind of like withdrawn. Quite a few cards come out there. So we've got the Empress, the Chariot. Your future... I just, it's, it's really all the way throughout Scorpio. So I'm seeing, this could be the energy throughout the year where you just feel more energetic, more optimistic, more, you're going to be fi financially, things will be improving, okay? Whether you already have a job, whether you've just got back into work or whatever it may be. Some of you guys could get a new car as well. Some of you guys may also hear about a pregnancy, some of you guys are single right now. Some of you guys could be single, not really overly focused on love. It, or if you are in a relationship, it's a thing where you're just becoming more independent. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor. Some of you guys are going to um, gonna become your own boss. That's why you're making more money because you get more of the money. Okay. So Six of Swords, the Lovers, the Strength card. Some of you guys are thinking about a connection. You're thinking about a connection, but um, seeing some of you guys feel like there's other things that need to be addressed or dealt with in your life right now, uh, Pisces. Uh, Pisces. Pisces is next. It could be a Pisces you're dealing with, or you could, ha could have Pisces in your chart. Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands. The Temperance and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I get the energy of like knowing that certain something needs to heal first and there's some kind of, some blockage in some area of your life. It could be in your love life. It could be your heart chakra, Scorpio. So if you guys are really not wanting to repeat something that's happened in your life before, you're just not there for it. You don't have time for it, okay? You completely know that it's, it's either something that you don't wish to uh, repeat or be in again, or if you are, if you in the future are open to it, you know that there's something that you need to release before you move into it, okay? I'm going to use this deck. Right, last messages for Scorpio, please. What? Okay. We have crystal clear intentions. <clears throat> Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. And I feel like that's exactly what you've been doing throughout the whole reading. That's what I'm saying. Like there is this focus. And we have here, breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. And that's funny because that's literally the last message that I got for you. about you wanted to release something or before you even move into something else okay and i feel that's more so in your love life um and we have a teaching and learning 
Archangels the decal. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. Okay, so some of you guys are meant to be teachers. And we have chakra clearing. And I rarely mention chakras in readings. Not these days, anyway. I used to a bit, but I haven't mentioned chakras. And for this to come out before I even... Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So let's see. Archangel Metreon, call upon me to clear your clear and open your chakras using sacred ge geometric shapes okay so if you guys it is about i think it's the, more so the heart chakra because i did say that before that even come out so um i want to yeah and what's what's been shown in the reading but i want to leave it there guys please like share subscribe if you'd like a personal reading all the information's in the description have an amazing week and i'll see you in your next reading bye guys